Crystal Studio is in El Dorado Canyon. It's about 20 minutes outside of Boulder, Colorado. It's in the middle of a gorgeous canyon, and it's a really beautiful, beautiful environment to record an album. Um, Andy McEwen runs the place. He's a really, really great guy, really easygoing, very supportive, um, and it's just been a real blessing to be able to work there. And the, the second part of the album I'm going to be finishing with Wes Lambert, who's coming out from Chicago. Yeah, it's just been a, a great project, really full of love and a lot of support, and I've really enjoyed the process of it. Would you like to take otherwise? I think so. Let me do one more. What's really important to me with my music is to help people find their inspiration and I think that everyone has um, some deep medicine to share for the world and by medicine I just mean something that they can share with the world that's healing. I think it's important for everyone to, to search their lives, search inside themselves. You know, what is, what's your prayer? And I don't mean religion, I mean what are you constantly manifesting in your life? And through my music I really wish uh, to inspire people to find that and to uh, find what brings them joy and find what empowers and invigorates and uh, creates joy in the people and the space around them and I, I encourage them to just follow that with all of their might. This place is really special. I grew up actually when I um, when I was little. I used to come here. My mom would bring me um, out to the Rocky Mountains. Um, my grandpa built a cabin um, with his hands and loved living here. It's beautiful. There's all kinds of really, really good wild medicine that grows here. And there's osha and Oregon grape root and sage and yarrow. All kinds of really good wild medicine. I wrote Mountain Song as a tribute to living in the mountains and family life in the mountains. It came from a place of loving my family and loving the inspiration of the land and all the energy that we were experiencing there. I sing it with Daniel because when I heard his voice, I had to. <laughs> we, we knew that our voices were meant to sing that song together. And the kettle cold just down, and it was dark and early still. Oh, don't let the dogs out one by one. Better wait until the morning sun, through the sunrise cast a light. That turned gray to orange as it rose, and the morning breathed the breath of life on the mountains through the windows. White Butterfly Black Crow is a very special song to me. I can never really take credit for creating the songs. I feel like they come to me if I'm if I'm open to them. And um, I was really, really grateful that that song came to me. It's a really special one. Um, it's got a really deep spirit. And and I wrote it a couple months before my stepfather passed away. I wrote it. Um, uh, I, it started coming through, and I was writing it down, and I was singing it, and I kind of tuned in and went, oh my gosh. Tony would love that song and it, it resonated so deeply in my heart and the rest of the song I wrote it for him and um, and just in reflection of um, my love for him and our relationship and the song is really about our connection to the mystic and how how um, you know we all have this inner strength and inner 
mystic nature that really connects us and intertwines us all. Away, butterfly, black crow. What's your medicine? What do you know of who? And what's your story? Where are you flow? Like your beautiful. Yeah.